<clears throat> How's it going everybody? So today we are going to be working on the blazer. Now first I want to show you so I got the gauge in. It's all done, it's mounted up, it's good and it's perfect. Now I'm not gonna bore you with the whole installation. It was just like, you know, same as the other one. So you got the sensor that goes in the motor. It's a one wire hookup that comes from the sensor up and into there. Now into the back of this, it's a three wire. So you have the sensor plugs into the, the top. Then you have a positive, which is to the keyed ignition and then a negative to a ground. And, and it works. This thing is like perfect. I don't have no issues with it. it. And I like it because it doesn't look out of the ordinary in this truck. Yes, I would still like for that to work, but it's there and it works. So I'm happy with that. All right, so now what we're gonna get onto is we're replacing the steering wheel and this. Now I already have the steering wheel that was in the Silverado. So all we're doing is replacing it or well repurposing it. So here's my steering wheel. There's the one adapter. Here's the other adapter. So this is the adapter that you use 3196 by Grant. And that's what same one that's in there, same one that's going in here. Alright, so I think this is what you need. Nope, next one down. <sighs> now, I'm replacing the steering wheel because, well, I hate stock steering wheels. They're always, in my book, just kind of crappy. So, but, uh, so, I never really like stock steering wheels. So, we're replacing it. And since I already had most of the stuff anyways, all I had to do was buy another adapter for, you know, the, to fit on the steering column. Come on. Come on, fire. Where'd that go? Which I think I paid 20 two dollars okay, now this thing's stuck again <sighs> I hate getting steering wheels off give me a second okay got the steering wheel off I just put the first adapter on nothing major um, so this is the you know the Chevy steering wheel spline to the three hole, which is a lot of Grant steering wheels. Well, I'm not a big fan of Grant steering wheels, and I like these kind. You know, this is a fake Sparco. <laughs> so I do the the six conversion, and the other one decided to go with the Motion Raceworks, so that one is a five conversion. Okay, it is what it is. So. A little bit of Loctite on the screws. And get them all lined up. And get them in. <clears throat> now, like this adapter right here. So, of course, I already told you what the serial number was for the, the one that goes to the Chevy. Now, the... The next one, which is the three to six, all you gotta do is search, like you know, eBay um, or Amazon, and it is a three lug, so it's a three to a six or the three to five steering wheel adapter, and it pops right up. It's not hard to find it; it's right there. Um, it literally. When I, went, when I ordered the new one for the Silverado, I mean, it literally took me 
because I went three to five steering wheel adapter. And I mean, it literally popped right up. And then I just had to search for the appropriate size that I need because that one is a two and a half inch dish. This one's only a half inch dish. So, all right, now the nut for this is right there. And yeah, I do not have a horn button on this thing yet. We'll get there. Plus the wire that goes through, that hooks to the horn, it fell out the other day and now I can't find it. So once I find it, we'll hook the horn back up. Till then, not a big deal. All right, so this is what it all looks like. I mean, you can see it's nice. The way that sit lines up looks really good. So now it's just putting the steering wheel on lining the next few up so come on there. come on they're in here somewhere I know when I check this out, this was a. So you got one, two, so you got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, load up. You got 12 holes. Why does it not line up with these ones? With these six? But it lines up with those six. That's really weird. I guess there's a difference in six hole adapters. Yeah, whatever. It's kind of weird though. Which means that now that I've done this, come on, get on there. Because I'm going to have to re-clock this because I know the steering wheel is going to be crooked now. It's all good. Ain't nothing that can't be fixed. So, because like before I had it lined up, pulled in the driveway straight and now it's at an angle. So basically, I just have to undo this and pull this off a little bit and then re-clock it. But I always do that after I drive around the block because sometimes I'm wrong and I might have been a hair off. Who knows? Come on. Oh yeah, and so I live where I live, in Virginia. So I read the other day, actually I read it the other day, then I reread it today, but where I live, the city council, let me put this up. Whew, I am hot, sweating. So I read the other day, the city council is, what, what do you want to call it? I don't know. Well, they're putting up a, a bill or a law, and it's in the books. They're working on it. It's not 100% yet, but they're working on this bill to tell people they can't park their cars in their yard in the city that I live in, which is so stupid. I mean... I park cars in the in the yard all the time. I mean, it's just normal for me. And they're putting out this law 
that what did they say they said they're gonna do this dude really that what did it exactly say I don't feel like finding my phone but they want to keep people's yards nice and clean and this and that and I'm like it's my yard I own this house I own my yard so stupid like whatever but and I did read today it's like a $15 fine yeah I'll take that fine because you know what I'm parking my car in my yard whenever I want well let me finish this I'll get right back with you okay I'm back now that the neighbor put her dog up so I forgot to show last video we were working on this well here is the header panel for the S10 Blazer it's all clean, it's all painted, and it's nice. So we'll be getting this on here in the next video. Because yeah, I still haven't put the motor in all the way. But we got this done, got it cleaned. Front and back, everything on this thing looks minty. All right, so now back to this blazer. There it is. All done, all nice. Yeah. Horn button, yeah, we'll worry about that another time. I ain't stressed on that. But hey, we got that in. And also, see, I like driving with my steering wheel down. The other steering was so big that it was basically rubbing my legs. And I like the steering wheel in a down position versus up like that. So, all the way down, much better. Look at that, it already just jumped up because it is warm out. But I did test it out the other day, works perfect, everything's working good. Um, next thing we'll be doing, which I'm going to order that as soon as I get done with this video, is I'm ordering the dipstick to. This, the, not the dipstick tube, but the dipstick for this so we can check the transmission fluid correctly and accurately because right now I'm just guessing. I know it's low, but we'll get a dipstick tube ordered here shortly and then after that we can fill this thing up and we should be mint. Alright, well, that's all I really wanted to do for this video is I wanted to at least get something out. I didn't want to miss a video. Um, been working like the other day when I got done with that one video I literally sat outside and worked for probably another five hours on stuff just getting that done getting other yeah but didn't get a lot recorded the other day but I got a lot done which can help out for future videos on the blazer this 10 blazer it's confusing having two blazers yeah look at that it's already rising well, hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, not going to spoil the surprise, but stay tuned for Saturday's video. Maybe I should have put that at the beginning of this video. Whatever. If you're hanging around, stay tuned for Saturday's video. Saturday's video is awesome. I haven't done it yet because I'm waiting on something to show up in the mail. But it's going to be an awesome video. Awesome for the channel. Alright. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you Saturday.